Good morning. So um, I was I knew I wanted to do twists today and I started looking through things I've done in the past and I found this uh, wonderful quote, you may have heard it from me before by Reba McIntyre. To succeed in life, you need three things. A wishbone, a backbone, and a funny bone. Wishbone is to know our aspirations, know our goals, know our dreams, know our desires, and, and right now our hopes. Backbone is to have the willpower, the strength, the fortitude to encounter, when we encounter adversity, to find the courage to navigate through it. And then the funny bone is, you know, right now we gotta really find the sense of humor or find things that make us laugh and to um, see the lighter side. Um, right now we all need to find all three aspects of the sp our spine our wishbone, our funny bone, and the humor to, um, to wait until things change. And right now it looks like things are going, moving towards that direction. So we are going to twist. We're gonna use all parts of our spine. We're gonna warm it up and move it all around and be invigorated. So come find a seat. I'm gonna take myself to my mat. I'm gonna make sure I turn my Timer on, so give me a second here till we get our 30 minutes. Okay. I have a block here just in case. I have my blanket. You guys know I like my props. So let's do some Ujjayi breath, warming up our body, connecting into our breath. Sit tall, ground your leg bones down, draw the lower belly in and up, placing your hands on your legs, slide your hands back, your shoulders back, your ears back. And with your eyes closed, begin your ujjayi breath, contracting the back of the throat. Just notice the audible, gentle audible rumbling sound you're making at the back of your throat. This forms an awareness of how you are breathing in your practice warms your body and slows your mind down. In order to twist, we need to make sure we are warmed up. Placing your hands at your heart. Let's join our voices in one O. Take a deep, full breath in. Exhale fully. And then inhale again. Um, bow into your heart. Release your hands to your legs and inhale. Lift your eyes up. Stretch your arms up. Ground your legs down. Draw the lower belly in and up. Interlace your fingers and extend the palms up. Keeping your left hip down, bring your right hand down and turn your hand in and lean over. Lifting up, take your left hand to the outer right knee, slide your right elbow back. Keep your right knee moving forward. Gently draw the ribs into the spine. Keep the grounding of your legs and hips. Inhale, rise up through the crown and then exhale, turn to the right. So as we twist in and out, it's super important that you keep your hips square and you keep your abdominals toned. So the abdominals is your backbone, your courage, your strength. Inhale, look over your left shoulder, and then exhale, release. Stretch your arms up, interlace your fingers, extend the palm up. Turning the right hand in, place your left hand down, lean over. Lift away from the floor, turn a little bit more towards the left knee, placing your right hand on the knee, move the left knee forward, slide your left hand back. Draw the ribs in, first ground down into the seat, and then inhale, with the inhale, lengthen the spine and twist to your left. A little harder to breathe, so go back into that ujjayi breath. When we breathe ujjayi breath, we're aware of our breath, how we're breathing, where we're holding. Inhale, look over your right 
shoulder. And then exhale, come on out. Take your feet forward. Ground your heels down. Reach for your feet. We're going to do a little seated cat-cow. So lower belly draws in and up. Pressing the feet forward. Let your head drop and lean away. Big stretch on the back. And then inhale, lift up. Left hand to outer right foot. Right hand either on the thigh or on the floor. Try and press the foot forward. Let the stretch happen in the left shoulder. And then the right rib backs away, but the right hip moves forward. You can turn a little bit over to the right. And then lift your right leg up. You can work it straight or bent. Keep that right hip moving forward and then lift up through the spine. You can, if you want, stretch the leg straight and bend the knee, place the foot down. Holding both feet, let's go ahead and do a big cat. And then a cow. Right hand outside, left foot either, left hand on your thigh or the floor. Turn over to the left, pressing the left foot forward. You can stretch this arm and the shoulder, and then you can lift the leg up. You can begin to move the leg towards straight. And then bend, just a little bit more. And then bend, go ahead and bring the heel down, bring the knee down, one more seated twist, bring the right heel back, wrapping your left arm around. Make sure that you're pressing into the right foot and your right knee is moving forward, that's working you towards square hips. Ground your sit bones, hip bones down, and then draw the ribs and belly in, lengthen with the spine and twist. You can use the arm to move the knee over towards the left. And then come on out, switch legs. Left knee forward, left foot pressing down, torso moves to the left. And then come on out, come on to all fours. Placing your hands at the front. Actually, I'm going to turn around this way so I can. I actually have you guys on my TV so I can see you. Hands at the front, thighs moving back. Lengthen the spine. Now widen the knees, keeping the thighs moving back. Bring the toes together. Press the toes down. You can move your hips from side to side. And then let your forehead come down. Come on to the fingertips. Lift the inner armpits, press the toes down, and stretch. Lift up, walk your hands to the left, shifting your hips to the right. Stretch that right side. And then lift up, you're gonna lace your right hand through, lift your hips up, come on to the right shoulder and extend the left arm. You can stay here or take your arm up and wrap it around. Take that left shoulder back. And then slide on out. Take both arms forward. Come on the fingertips. Walk your hands to the right, shifting your hips to the left so that left side is getting a big stretch. And then lift up. Taking the left arm through now, lift your hips up, stretching your arm. And then if you want, you can lift the arm up and wrap it around, right shoulder back. And then come on out, lift up, walk your hands to the front, bring your knees more hip width apart and walk your knees back. Pressing your hands down with your arms forward, Tuck the toes, lift the knees an inch off the floor, squeeze your legs towards each other from the feet into the pelvis, and then pushing into the earth, stretch your arms straight, come into puppy pose. Here you can begin to bicycle your legs, stretching the back of the legs. And then come into downward facing dog. Start with the knees bent a little bit. Stretching your arms, press into the hands, get a curve in the lumbar spine. Now draw the lower belly in and up. It brings your ribs back a little bit. 
From the back of the ribs, stretch down through your legs. Come forward into a plank, pressing into the hands, push away from the floor. So you're gonna get a protracting action in your shoulders, away from each other. And then bring your knees down, chest and forehead. Extending the legs, roll the thighs in. Interlace your fingers. Press the toes and the knees down. Move the shoulders with the inhale towards the head and then rise up. Work your lower belly, work your glutes, protecting your lower back. Stretch your legs straight, press the toes down. And then place your hand by the wrist, drawing the palms back, come into cobra. And you can turn to the right, come back to center, turn to the left, come back to center, tuck the toes and press back to dog. Widen your feet, bring your legs as wide as the mat, walk your hands back, come to where your heels are grounded, you can put a micro bend in the knees, bring your right hand to the outside of the left shin, press into the left hand, lift the left inner, inner um, armpit and twist to your left, twist it down dog. Try and keep your hips square. Bring your right hand down, switch sides. Remember to lift the inner armpit. Bring your hand down and then begin to walk back with your hands. I'm wide as my mat and I'm gonna do, bend my knees with my right hand, hold my outer shin, slide the belly over a little bit and fold. If you're flexible in the hamstrings, you can begin to lift the sit bones up, lift the kneecaps up to engage the quads, and then let's switch. You can start with the knees bent, slide the belly over to the right, pressing into the floor, begin to extend the legs. And then bend the knees deeply, moving into the heels, Bring your hands to the shins, hug them in, move your inner groins back so you're sticking your butt back, draw the lower belly in, and then come sit up, placing your hands on your legs, shift your hips back, press the leg bones down so you're gonna release the upper body from the hips, and then come to stand. Good, come to the front of your mat. I'm gonna to turn to you right now so you can see me. So I'm bring my feet and your hip width apart, Bend the knees, shoot the hips back, take my arms up. Interlace my hands and extend the palms up. Fold over the right knee. Keeping the knees bent, lift up, ribs in, and fold over the left knee. Keeping the knees bent, butt back, lift up. Now I'm going to join my feet. Interlace my hands again, stretch up, squeeze my legs towards each other, thighs back, ribs back, holding my left wrist, fold over to the right, crescent, lift up, holding the right wrist, lean over to the left. Inhale, rise up and release. Starting some salutations, our spine should be warm. Bend the knees, sit back into the heels. Inhale, arms up, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold into standing forward bend, Uttanasana. Halfway up, long spine. Right leg back, right knee down. Isometrically draw that right knee forward. Plank pose, top of a push up. Exhaling all the way down. Bhujangasana, Cobra. Down dog. Moving with the breath, take a big full breath in. On the exhale, step your right leg forward, bringing your left knee down. On the inhale, draw that left knee forward and rise up through the spine. And then step forward and fold. Bend the knees, sit back into the heels, try and bring your knees back, butt back, lift up. Ribs back with the chin slightly tucked, ears back. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Find that, the, the back bone. Ribs draw in, hold the pose. 
Smile, find humor in the strength that you have. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a full breath in. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. Halfway up. Left leg back, left knee down. Right leg back, plank. On the exhale, come down. On the inhale, rise up. On the exhale, down dog. Full breath in. With the next exhale, left leg forward, right knee down. With the next inhale, step forward and fold. Bringing your feet together, squeeze the outer heels towards the inner. Bend the knees, sit back into your heels, arms up, chair pose. Bend the knee elbows, turn to the right, shift your hips back, move your butt back. You can stay here in twisted chair. You can bring your hands together. You can make a fist. And the more advanced version is hands down, arm up. Come on out, twist to the other side. Which, uh, whatever variation works for you. Look at the knees, make sure that the right knee is not forward of the left. Come on up and stand, hands to your heart. Full breath in, exhale, arms down. Inhale, rise up and exhale, fold. I'm going to slide this back a little bit. Halfway up, right leg back, right knee down. Squeezing the right knee forward, come up. Place your hands on the left thigh, moving the hips back, draw the ribs in, and take your arms up. On the exhale, go deep into the, your seat. So we're first going to do Anjanasana. And then inhale, lift your hips back up. You may want to slide your heel back and then bend the elbows. Turn to the left. Wrap the elbow outside. Bring your right hand down, maybe your left hand to your hip. Now you can stay here. Lift the knee up. Maybe lift the arm up. Come back down. Come back up into Anjanasana. Bring your hands to the floor and step to dog. Bend your knees. Look between your hands. Step, hop, float. Come forward and fold. Halfway up. Left leg back. Left knee down. Draw the left knee forward and come rise up. Moving your thighs back. Draw the lower belly in and up. So we're going to make our abdominals strengthening our spine. To so inhale, rise up. From the back of the waist, press down into your legs and let your seat move down to the earth. From there, stretch up. Release, turn to the right, shift the right hip back. Remember when I had you lift your foot in the easy twist, seated twist? So it's the same kind of action. Twist, you can take one hand, you can even do this variation. Pressing into the right foot, stay here, or lift the knee off the floor. Placing your hands, let's step back to down dog. Stretch it out, you can bend the knees. Bring your feet closer towards each other. I'm gonna come into the outer edge of the right foot, inner edge of my left, press into my, more into my left hand so all the weight is not going into the right, and shift the hips back. 
come to the toes and flip it to the other side. Then I'll press more into the right hand. Back to the center. Bring the right knee into the nose and turn the knee out. Bend the left knee, turn the right toes down and move your, especially your right inner thigh back. Keep your right toes active. This helps to protect the knee. Open up that right hip. Let's switch legs. Left knee in, turn it out to the side. Bend the right knee, turn the left toes down, keep them active, and move your left inner thigh back. Release, widen your feet a little bit, bend the knees, right knee in this time. Lift the knee up and open the hip, press into the left hand, bring the knee forward, and step through into a lunge. Keeping the left inner thigh lifting, butt lifting, we're now gonna open and revolve our chest. So work the right hip back and take the right arm up. Squeeze your legs, moving the thighs back, ribs in, move the breath from the tail through the crown. This is an open twist. And release and step back to dog. Widen your feet a little bit, bend the knees, thighs back, lower belly lifting, ribs in, left knee in, keep the knee bent, lift it up, open the hip, bringing the knee in, step through, press into the left foot, take your right arm out and twist, and take your left arm up. Right inner thigh lifts, from the tail, moving back, lengthen all along the spine to the crown of your head and revolve to the left. Good, place your hand down, step forward and fold. I'm gonna to turn to face you. So we're now in Uttanasana. Come halfway up. You can bring your hands to your hips Lower belly drawing in and up, shoulders and elbows rising. Inhale to stand. Widen your stance a little bit. I'm going to bend my knee, sit back. I'm going to lift my right knee up and open it out. Turn the toes down. Begin to sit back. Start with your hands at the heart. Sit back. Bring your hands down. Turn the toes down. More action in that right hip. You can extend the leg if you want a little bit and fold. Bending the knee again, place the right knee in front of the left foot and now extend the left leg, come onto the right toes and fold. Now you're getting into your left hip. Bending both knees again, stack the right knee on top of the left, come up. Right knees on top, take your right elbow below, now you can stay here or squeeze in and come into eagle. Go deeper and then release and release your arms. Second side's always easier. First side, you never know where I'm going. So soften the knees, now sit back, lifting the left leg up, turn the toes down, begin to sit deep into your seat, thighs back, left inner thigh working, go deeper and bring your hands to the heart, working your balance, working your fortitude, place your hands down. Squeezing the right shin in, you can fold and begin to extend the right leg. But keep a little bend in the knee. Halfway up, slide, bend the knee, slide the right knee in front, 
Stay, I mean left leg in front. Stay on the toes of the left leg, but stretch now your right leg straight. Come on up, keeping the knees bent. You're gonna wrap your left foot around, left arm underneath. Dasana, eagle. Come on out and release. Come back to the front of the mat. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold halfway up. Right leg back into a lunge, turning the right toes to face parallel, foot parallel. Walk your hands out to the right, squeeze your legs towards each other, and shift back into down dog lunge. Coming halfway up, turn the left toes forward, come into wide-legged forward fold, and fold. Squeeze your legs towards each other, come halfway up. Bending the right knee, turn the right toes to face the back of the mat. Walk your hands over to the left. Move your thighs back. Come back to the center. Parallel your feet again. And fold. I'm going to come halfway up. Walk my hands forward. Ground my wrists down. Move my arms forward. Keeping my right hand planted, left hand to your hip. Let me see how you look. Turn to your left. Work your legs. So you're going to squeeze your legs towards each other, gauging, lifting up into the sit bones, working the quads. Turn to the left and take your arm up. Twisted, forward fold. You can wrap your arm around and open your shoulder like we did in Twisted Child. And if you want, you can fold over. Come back up, release your arm up, place both hands down, shoulders forward, pressing into the left, bring your right hand to your hip, make your hips square, remember we got to square our hips, draw lower abdominals in and up, ribs in, for the twist, it's an open twist, and take your right arm up, you can wrap it around, and fold over to the other leg. Coming halfway up, release, and fold. Press down through the legs, lift up, come back to the front. Bring the right knee down, lift up a little bit, and we're going to come into pigeon pose. So I want you to turn that outer right hip down. You can tuck or untuck the toes, squeezing the legs towards each other, lift up, giving it a nice stretch into the front of the right hip, bend the knee, reach back with the same hand for the foot, and bring the heel in. Gently release, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing the right knee forward, left foot into the right thigh, and I'm going to come into grounding my right hip down, Pressing my right toes down, keeping the hips square, twist to my right. Ribs draw in, twist. Place your right hand down, take your left arm up, lift up. And then come on down. Let's swing our right knee across this time. Coming into full Ardha Matsyandrasana. Ground that right hip down. You can start with the elbow around the knee, slide the belly over, keep that right knee moving forward. If it's easy, you can just slide the elbow on the outside. And then come on out. Slide your right knee now in front of your left. I'll face you. And keep your belly on the thigh to start. 
moving back into your seat. Come on up. Let's take our left arm up, turn the palm open, bend the elbow, reach between the shoulder blades, hold the right hand on the elbow. If this is easy, you can take your arm up, turn the thumb down, and reach for the bind. Gently release and step back to down dog. I am going, as you guys are in down dog, I am going to stop the video and switch. <laughs>